frozen waters may not be as colorful as their tropical counterparts, but the life that inhabits them can be just as extraordinary. The warmth may breed colorful patterns and coral, but ice coasts are just as alive with the sounds of foxes, bears, birds, and much more. I'm S. Maxwell Seacard, and this week we track the playful seal on the Arctic hunt. Inhabiting coastlines all over the world, the pinnipeds are curious mammals that can reach weights varying greatly by species. Some, like the elephant seal, reach weights of over 7,000 pounds. Seals may look cute, but these carnivores devour fish, krill and seabirds with razor-sharp teeth. Although killers themselves, they're hunted by sharks and killer whales. Such is the circle of life. For this hunt, I'll be taking my trusty Parker, my Canon Rebel OES T3i, a telephoto 70 to 300 mm lens, and a handy 24 to 85 mm zoom lens. For underwater and remote shots, we'll be using two GoPro Hero 3 Pluses. Seeing seals above water is grand, but we want to see how the seals behave below the surface. I'll also be taking a first aid kit in case the seals try to drown me. I, uh, <laughs> can't swim. From our plane, we could see the cracked ice plates below. After only an hour on the ice, we spotted our first seal. Soon after, we checked our remote camera to see another, much closer specimen. Within the next few minutes, two more seals made their way in front of our cameras. With cameras underwater, it was only a short time before we began getting images of a curious seal investigating. Curiosity may have killed the cat, but it may make the seal famous. The coastlines of Lake Gregory may just be the most populated of all the Arctic areas. With entire generations of seals occupying beaches, it isn't difficult to understand why this mammal is so successful. These seals prove that life under 20 degrees isn't only possible, it can prosper. I'm S. Maxwell Seacard. Thank you for joining us on the Arctic Hunt. <laughs>